welcome everyone uh, this is another unboxing video of uh, the latest release of One Piece card game today is the release of SD14 yeah, the theme for this deck is uh, 3D 2 wide. it's actually the uh, the arc after Ace had died. So yeah. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. If One Piece fans, I believe many of you are aware that this is actually an arc right after uh, Ace died and this is the announce of uh, the long break for Oda and the long trading period for the Straw Hat crew yeah, through this uh, two years duration we actually crew and we can't really Powerful. Two years later, and when they meet at Sabuti, and after this will be the re release of OP8. That's where really is uh, one of the character character card to look forward to. So now, without further ado, let me introduce the uh, the leader for this deck. It's Luffy. It's a five cost. Oh no, sorry, a uh, five K leader with five life. Normal single colored leader with one don. Five characters plus one cost. That's on view. It's plus one cost, and if you have a uh, eight cost and above character, the leader plus one thousand. So, as you can see, this leader is a texture. Yeah, I think since SD thirteen, I don't remember twelve being textured, but yeah, uh, this leader is textured, very nicely done. And next will be uh, Sanji. Many of these cards you have already seen it in the preview. So I think I'll just jump in to the cards that I feel that it's really really worth taking note of. So yeah, let me filter them out first. And I'll explain to you one by one to the counter without. I'm not sure whether this is useful, the button yeah. anyway. Yep. Okay, this one is if you have an 8k character in the world, it's on your turn. Uh, attach one dot if you have an 8k character in the world on your turn, on your view. You can kill opponent for cost and below. One's per turn is actually quite useful yeah, compared to Cody, although there is no it cost and above uh, restrictions. But nowadays it's very easily fulfilled. Yeah, if you know what I mean, I will. This one is just at two cost onto your straw hat. It's not that useful in my opinion. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah, the rest I will just okay, leave it. Okay, let me briefly introduce this one, Sanji. It's a 5 cost 6k character. Alright, if on your turn, not uh, only, if you have a 6 cost and enough character, opponent 5 cost and below character, KO. You can kill opponent's 5 costs. 
and we will cut the dust by playing this card. Of course, if you have six cards and a birth character on play, and you play this card, you can kill opponents five cards. Yep, easily done. Quite easily done, but just the only thing that we have to think about is how are you going to reduce this opponent's cost if the character, the opponent's character has more than five costs? So yeah, the other one is Nami, it's a blocker. Yep, nicely drawn. This on play. Same thing if you have a five cost, uh, oh, sorry, an eight cost and above character. And you have less than six cards on your hand in your hand and draw one. Really useful for the deck. Uh, because I can foresee that it's a little bit tight on hand size. This one I had uh, explained earlier. This is useful as 2D counter, not much for playing though. Know? This is the rush card in this deck. It costs 10k Luffy. If you have a 10 cost and a birth character on play, yeah, this character has rush, so it can be easily fulfilled by using uh, the stage card and the Luffy, uh, the leader effect. This one is interesting if you have a 6 cost and a birth character on play. This character cannot be killed by effect and plus 2k, so yeah, this is actually really strong. Especially that game when you are trying to finish off the opponent. This is just a regular 2k counter for me. Yeah, but long story short is that you can give a straw head. Uh, Increase the cost of the strong character by 2. And if you have any cost and a character on play, you can draw one after this card one from your hand. And last but not least, that you can take note of is this Robin. It's like a pseudo uh, Kuzan. Yeah, but the different thing is that this one you have a 1k counter. and. Yeah, basically is that a on play or when attack if you have an 8 cost and a buff character on play one of your opponent's character on his side so it's quite useful to trigger on play and it's triggered on uh, on attack so yeah and I'll move on to the event card this one it's like a draw one increase the character cost by 3. It's like a reverse Tempest Kit. Yeah. Instead, this one is. Uh, should we go in Mary? Number 1 or something? Yeah, but uh, the, the effect is for increasing strong character. A uh, cost by 1. All of it. So been in the game for quite a while and if you have noticed since uh, OP05 or 06 there has been increased in black matter especially with this card uh, it costs more yeah, this is a staple for all blacks black decks you have to have this if you're trying to cycle cards out of your trash. Secondly is Rebecca from Over 5. When it was released, it's not that uh, noticeable until recently when there's an increase of a 3 cost character with a really good on play effect. Yeah, and I'm not sure that I should put this 10 cost as easy cruiser in this uh, Luffy deck, but it's, it's a good to have, it's easy to reduce cost, yeah. This one is to prevent yourself from getting KO'd. 
and played back black and against black. The back and forth is horrendous, ridiculous even. Yeah, with this sabo, you can protect yourself from being KO. KO by your opponent's uh, character's effects. Then again, it doesn't prevent from getting trashed by the effect from this Luffy. Yeah, it's uh, on attack, you can kill opponents, no. move an opponents to cost and below character to trash. It's not kill, it's moved to trash. Similar to Stussy, where there's no uh, cost restriction. Similar to this, Brook, where it's on play effect, KO, no. move a four cost and below character to trash. It's not the effect, but yeah. The other one that you see more players are putting this into the deck is Isho. It's a really good uh, effect where just attack one bomb, opponents, all your opponents get a nice three bombs. Again, it's very helpful for Sanji. It's very helpful for. Is this uh, Uso? Yeah, very helpful for Uso as well. It's really good, and if your opponent has six or more cards on hand, you can just choose two, two and trash, trash it. Last but not least is Brook from EB01. Three cost, on play, on attack, kill one cost and below. Nothing much for me to explain much. For this, these are basically all the cards that are candidates in this deck. I'm not sure about Ice Age, but yeah, it's one of the uh, other cards that we can think of putting in. And the only weakness I can think of for this deck is there is a lack, uh, a great lack of uh, drawing power. Yeah, if you have noticed, there is only Nami to draw cards if you have less than 5, I'm sorry, less than 8, 6 on hand, and you must have a 6 or 8 cost, uh, six, 8 cards and above on deck before you can draw. The restriction is there, but it's not hard to fulfill, but it's still a restriction nonetheless. Yeah, the other one would be the reverse tempest kit. Uh, this one. Yeah, the, the, the picture where Luffy told his uh, Nakama that they have to meet later. One of the card to, to increase hand size, but it's not a lot. It's not by a lot. It's good enough, it's still a card to help you activate your, your effects, your character effect. It is still a card to how should I put it? Oh, it's, a, it's a good card in short. Yep, but then again. You can think of putting Tempest Kick in it, just for drops, because looking at this deck, it doesn't produce a lot of trash as well. So you will need to just think about it to justify whether the straw hat build is, is the way to go for this deck, because there are so many variant around. I'm quite sure that this is this may not be the optimum build uh, for for this leader. There had to be some other variant. But maybe off the hand I can think of to how your hot card size is a card where you can utilize Nami to search for the card that you need or even 
uh, use the leader's ability to um, reduce the dog to have you kill your, your opponent's card. It's more viable that way. Other than that, uh, it's, it's really hard to build a pure straw hat uh, base to run this deck. So, yeah. So, I hope you like this video and it, will, and it will really help me out if you give this video a thumbs up and share and do remember to subscribe if if you like more of this content and also hope your eggs releasing next month I'm praying that I can get the the, the, the case one day in advance at least but then again Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you. Have fun. Goodbye.